Welcome home, Lukaku, and London is still blue. Yeah, we finally made it to the pinnacle. How long you do waited for the antidote? Salute me like a five star general. Now strike a pose for the camera, yo, and go left to right, left, left to right. Hi all, welcome back to Rant Football Chelsea News. I'm Phil, your host for this show. And before we go any further, please subscribe to Epic Shows, like this video and comment down below how you think the London derby went. Well, I thought it was an easy game for Chelsea, truth be told. I think Chelsea didn't get out of second gear most of the game. Maybe sometimes got into third gear, but there's two more gears to go with Chelsea. Arsenal started bright, they tried to press, they tried different tricks. It just didn't work for them, let's be truthful. Um, they didn't know what to do. They had some big names missing, I'll admit that. But I just don't think Mikel Arteta is good enough. I think he's a, another Unagana Solskjaer, personally. I think he's a fraud as a manager. And if I was mad, if I was Arsenal, I'd be upset. So, obviously, as we know, the Chelsea fans, the big man was backing the team um, for the game. And that was obviously the great Lukaku, who had an absolute blinder, my ass. So, obviously, if we look at the lineup, the starting lineup for Chelsea, we started with Mendy in goal. Aspilicueta was captain in the back three, so Chalabar was dropped, so clearly got that one wrong. Um, Christian stayed in, got that one. Rudiger stayed, so I was right. Then we had Rhys James on the midfield. We had Jorginho and Kozvizic. On the left wing back, we had Alonso again, with the front three being a Mason Mount, um, Kai Havertz, and the man Lukaku. As I said, and Lukaku did not disappoint either for us Chelsea fans. It was a good, good day. So as I said, the first 15 minutes, Arsenal were pressing high, but they never really gave anything to worry Chelsea, in my opinion. Arsenal fans, you may be upset with this. It's just an opinion, and that's how I feel about it. But within the 15th minute, Chelsea did take the lead. Arsenal's defending was sixes and sevens, I thought. Um, Lukaku read the line perfectly. They thought he got him offside. And it's his return debut goal. He gets his tap in and he's a very happy boy with that. And so am I. Just to see him score. It was brilliant. Then we're talking 20 minutes after that. Chelsea kind of dominated the game at that point. It was easy. Arsenal didn't have any ideas. Chelsea finally got the second goal. Start, I believe with Alonso. Beautiful dummy by Lukaku outside the area to Mount, who threaded it through to Reese James in the 35th minute, and he buried it and gave Chelsea a 2 0 lead. Really, in the second half, it was more I felt like Arsenal were looking for damage limitation than trying to get back in the game. And I think Chelsea were trying to hold back, you know, keep the energy. Big game next week against Liverpool. Both teams had good chances. I can't remember the young man's name for Arsenal in the 60th minute. Or it will come back to me as I quickly read it again. Holding. Great head off from one of their balls. And personally, he should have scored. But I found him, he just put it over the bar and wide of the post, I think. But he should be hitting the target of that. And at this level of football, you can't be missing chances like that. Um... We move on a bit later in that, and Lukaku has another great chance in the game. No word of a lie, he bullied Arsenal, and he had a bullet header, but the Arsenal keeper just stood firm and made um, Leno made an absolute amazing, beautiful save. Um, and Lukaku couldn't believe it. He had to watch the replay. He didn't know how it didn't go in, but it was just a beautiful save from Leno. So the full-time score was Arsenal nil, Chelsea 2. So what we're going to do now is quickly get into the match stat. So Possession-wise, Chelsea dominated possession 65% to 35. That is not good enough for a home team. Um, Arsenal, they're, they're a mid-table team now, it seems. They're a shambles. Um, I don't know what they should do, but their fans, for years when they were moaning, now they've really got something to moan for. Um, I've said it to my mate Lee, who's a Arsenal fan. You didn't realise what you had with Arsene Wenger. He was pulling rabbits out there hat all the time, getting you in the top four with no money and building a squad from nothing every season. And now he's gone. You're starting to see what's happened. Um, everyone's saying who can come in and take half our Arsenal. Well, it depends when if Arteta can't get him going. But for the rest of the season, I would actually just bring Wenger back in if I was Arsenal and get him to look for the long term with them to take over for next season. Arsenal fans, your rebuild. Now, you're talking three 
maybe four years until you're back. Um, top four challenges. I thought you might be here this season, but you look an absolute disgrace. And here's why. Shots. Arsenal at home, six. Chelsea, 22. Now, on target, is a bit closer. Chelsea obviously wasted a lot of chances. Um, on target, Arsenal had three. Chelsea had five. But if Chelsea start converting chance after chance something's going to change and i think chelsea will start beating teams very easily soon someone's going to get a drum in i think corners nine um to arsenal eight to chelsea arsenal you won something you also won the offsides what well, because Werner wasn't playing so five to nil and yellow cards arsenal got three to nil um chelsea got in their heads and the arsenal players played right into it um inexperienced there but yeah, I always felt Chelsea had control of this game. It was an easy game. I mean, it started off in summer. It ended off in a monsoon, weather-wise, ridiculously. Um, I don't get Arteta, as I says. He takes Saka off and brings Agbaniang on. You're 2-0 down. Take someone else off, keep Saka on, and go for it. Show something, please. If I was an Arsenal fan, I'd be furious with that substitution. Um, Lukaku, what can we say about him in his debut? To me, my man in the match, had a blinder. Held the ball up, played the balls down, ran, run round the back, obviously scored. Physically strong. Everything what's been missing from Chelsea, he was like the final link up front. And I think it's only going to get better. He's only been with his squad for a week training. The understanders ain't even there yet. So it's just going to get better and better and better. So we're two games into the season and we obviously know that Chelsea now have scored five goals and conceded zero. That's the kind of start we've got. We've got Liverpool next, whose um, goal difference is exactly the same. They've scored five can uh, um, well, I don't I think I don't know if, don't know if they've conceded. I'm not too sure about that. But you know, Liverpool have, you know, they've dominated. It's easy for them as well up there. Obviously Brighton up there as well, I'm saying Spurs, but them two will throw it away. Next week is Chelsea Liverpool. It's a big game. I'll obviously be releasing a video again next week about a very big six point early in the season. Chelsea are purring. I've watched Liverpool, they're playing well, they're not purring. But Chelsea, got, they've got something in it. They look like Chelsea of the days of Lampard, Drogba, Terry and that. There's that team bond. There's that we can get stuck in, but we can play good football as well. So today, I'm so happy. I think Chelsea was brilliant. What did you think? Arsenal fans, if you're watching, what do you think? Arteta out, Arteta in. What needs to change? Chelsea fans, what are you happy with? What do you think could have been better? Is there anything you're still worried about? And do you think we need to bring another centre back in or not? For me, everything was perfect. As I said, I don't think we have to wait 60, waste 60 million on an a, another centre back when we've got um, Chalabar on the bench and we've got Silver on the bench as well. I know Zoom is about, but Zoom is probably going. But this is, you know, it's, it's a squad with riches. Can A came on? Wow. You could see as soon as he came on, he was obviously clearly rested for the big game next week against Liverpool, and he'll be back in. I think they'll drop Kovacic for that game. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this. As I said, subscribe to Epic Shows. Check out our other show, the Epic Florida Project, where me and Simon talk all news in and outside of the theme parks in Orlando, Florida. Um, keep an eye on Ramp Football. Give Andrew some love. Give him some watches. Give him some comments. Tell him what you like, what you don't like about Man United. We want comments down below. And I say, comment on my ones as well for Chelsea. And we'll see you all soon on the next Rant Football.